It's crazy that we doubled our use of energy in the last 50 years. We can't keep this up. 1,400 transport units, 520,000 kilometers per day, 1,750 hours of traffic. What do I need? Milk, eggs, bacon, fish eggs. sticks, condoms, oh, chewing gum. Yes, hello. No, I still need to order bandages. Okay, there aren't any more needles. Where's the... I'll put you through. Oh, and I still need to do this. Don't you have the feeling we're standing still all the time? Why has it become part of our lives? <laughs> Isn't it strange the rays are getting longer? Shouldn't evolution make the world more efficient? And while we're standing still, we pollute even more. Why can't we focus on people instead of procedures? What if objects start to sense and communicate, becoming tools to help us deal with complex and urgent situations? What if all objects were interconnected? What if there was an Internet of Things? With the Internet of Things, applications are infinite. We could be able to monitor our transport better, winning precious time at any turn. We be on smart logistics as we know it. With an Internet of Things, we could be able to monitor from a distance. Instead of spending time in a hospital, people could actually live their lives. Emptying our carts would be a thing of the past. It would also limit forgetfulness. We wouldn't even need a shopping list. We could easily ping our refrigerator at home to tell us what's missing. If we want to be smart about energy, we could let energy be smart about itself. With the Internet of Things, we could be able to manage our world differently, adding a new dimension to the Internet as we know it. The Internet of Things, part of our future.